In this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass iCloud on any of your iPhone device for free. This tutorial that I'm going to show you will help you to get access to your device again 100% free. So before you begin the step, you need to set up the device to confirm that this your device is actually locked to iCloud because in some cases, it might be a SIM lock, remote management, or any other lock. So to confirm it, you go ahead and select the language and select the country in which you are setting up the device. And then you set up as manual. This is to connect a Wi-Fi or a hotspot to the device. So let me go ahead and connect my hotspot. Once you have connected the, the hotspot to the device, then you just wait and allow the device to um, check and confirm it for us. Then we proceed with the bypass. So right here, we can all see that this device is currently locked to an iCloud. Okay, this is the same as Hello Screen and it is the same with Activation Lock Screen. Now, let us begin. Alright, to get started with the process, the first thing that we have to do is to launch the Jbrick software. The Jbrick software that we are going to be using is the WinRain software. This, will, this software will help you to Jbrick any of your iPhone device. So to get started, all you need to do is to connect your device to the PC using a quality data cable. Once you have connected your device to the PC, the software is going to detect your device. And as you can see, iPhone 6S Plus is connected in normal mode. So the next thing is to select the parallel ring, select the rootless, and before we click on next, we have to fix the driver. This will help us not to encounter any problem during the process now fixing driver is done then the next thing is to click on next the software will now boot your device into recovery mode now that your device is in recovery mode then if we click start then we are going to follow the jailbreak process depending on the type of iPhone device that you are working on. So make sure to follow the procedures on the screen. Right now, the device is in DFU mode. Now the device is in DFU mode. So what we are going to do next is to select the Palerine again. We select the rootless and then we are going to click on next. Once you click on next, the jailbreak process will begin. Now let us wait and allow the jailbreak process to complete. And as you can see, the device jailbreak is in progress. And the jailbreak is done. We will wait for the device to boot back to the main menu so that we can go ahead and activate it. This process is very, very simple to follow. All you need to do is to watch the video from beginning to the end so that you will understand every steps that you have to take. Now that we are done with the jailbreak, we can now go ahead and close the WinRain software. Then you will launch the 3 u tools software.
when you launch the 3U software, you can see that the, this device has been jailbroken from here. You can see that this device is success, successfully jailbroken. Yeah. So we are going to be using, I'm going to give you three softwares that you can use to activate this device after the jailbreak. You can see that these three U tools, we can also use it to activate, but do not use the three U tools to do the activation. You can either use EFT dongle to activate it, Brokeman RAM disk, or Unlock Tool software. Whichever one that you have access to, you can just use it to activate this device. So, in my next video, I will also make a video on how to use the Brokeman RAM disk to activate the device for free and as well as EFT dongle. But for now, I only have access to Unlock 2 software. So let me quickly launch my Unlock 2 software so that we can quickly activate this device for free. So if you already have an account with the Unlock 2 software, then this is 100% free for you. And if you have access to Brokeman RAM disk or EFT dongle, you can as well go ahead and activate it. Yeah, so once you've launched the software, you go to the Apple, you click I understand. Then you scroll down here where it says bypass hello jailbreak plus disable OTA. This disable OTA will be able to create a fake factory reset. So anytime you factory reset the device, your things will not be erased. The device will just reboot and come back to the main menu. So let us go ahead and select that option. Then we are going to select no changing of serial number. Straightforward. And once you've selected that, the process will begin immediately. And as you can see, it is activating with server. And within some few minutes to seconds, the device is activated. And you can see bypassing hello is in progress. And you can see from the Unlock 2 uh, software, the bypass is complete. I am going to put in a SIM card so that we can try some of the features and confirm that everything is working perfectly. So first of all, I will go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi from the device. And you can see that every other thing is working perfectly, like the camera, the every other thing is working all right the notification also should be working so let me put in a sim card so that we can also confirm other stuff so i've just put in a telecell sim card Let me put it on airplane mode and remove it again and search for network and see if we can get a signal. Okay, so we have a signal on this. So this bypass actually supports signal. Let me try making call and see. First of all, I will check my balance. Okay, it is working. And I'll try to send a call. Let me call emergency. Okay, so unfortunately, the signal is showing. We are able to check the balance, but we are not able to send calls. So that is the only thing that is not working. The App Store tool is working all right. You can download any apps from the App Store. And if you have any question concerning this process, you can also leave it in the comment section. Make sure to like this video.